You see these books over here? Well, these are some of the most popular coding books out right now. And I spent an entire week reading them so you don't have to. The first book that we read was called Everything You Need to Ace Computer Science and Coding in One Big Fat Notebook. Quite the title. And now why I started with this book is because it is known as one of the better beginner programming books out there. This is a lot more beginner friendly and is aimed towards middle school and high school students. And the main thing this book answers is what is coding? What is open? source how do you write a simple program and over the nearly 500 pages in this book that i painfully read in one sitting it touched upon every aspect of coding in some way shape or form for example one of the pages talked about rgb and how hex works while in another entire chapter they covered how scratch works and even laid out the history of code and now the only main knock i have on this book is that it's super beginner oriented i initially read this book when i was like a brand new developer and it really helped me but reading it a year later i didn't get the benefit benefits that I got when I started out. And what I'll say is if you're a new developer, you don't understand why we code, how simple languages work, how basic syntax works, then I think this book is perfect for you. Again, it depends on the experience of the user, but highly recommended. But enough with the beginner talk. The next book that we read was A Common Sense Guide to Data Structures and Algorithms. And unlike the first book, this is definitely not for middle schoolers. This is literally a freaking university book and it brought flashbacks to when I was in university. Based off the title, you already know what it is the data structures book that lays out everything about data structures and algorithms in code what this book really taught me was the efficiency of how you do something also matters like what i noticed with myself is when i'm working on a function or an algorithm i don't really focus on the efficiency of things but rather ignore that or just trying to finish the algorithm in the first place and as programmers we do want to be efficient because then we don't have to manage the algorithm once it's done it'll always be working and it'll just be a lot more efficient so it's faster for the user and that is exactly what this book brought and I absolutely loved it and it covers a lot of different concepts such as big O notation and the different types of uh, examples within that bubble sort selection sort binary and linear searches and many more and a lot of examples that come along with that and honestly I was super surprised was just how enjoyable this book was again i sucked at math in high school and in college and it wasn't my strong suit but even then this book was just super easy to understand and hopefully i can show you but the book is filled with like examples and diagrams which makes things a lot easier for the common person like myself and the best thing about this book okay which is not included in many of the other books is that the authors take the concept we are learning and they apply it into the code that we write for example when we're learning like big o notation they did not just tell us what big o is but rather they gave us an example of how we could apply this into our everyday code and i think that is where the main value of this book lies and i love this book with a different perspective on code and i also wanted to be more efficient with my algorithms so this one another great book highly recommend the next coding book that we read was clean code probably the most popular coding book of the bunch and this was my second time reading through this book and i have a much different opinion on it and so what it talks about is the good principles you want to follow to write clean code and according to the authors what clean code is is code that is reusable and easily read and maintainable by another programmer. Throughout the chapters of the book, we go over the different principles of clean code, such as how to write comments, how to correctly write functions, how to implement testing and testing systems. And look, I am all for clean code and following principles to have reusable and maintainable code. But my main gripe with this book and with a lot of people is that they make writing clean code the entire purpose of programming. And I don't like that. Like at a certain point, you will care too much about how how efficient or how clean your code is like oh, i have to make sure this function is one purpose and one purpose only but does it really matter if you're sacrificing how much code you're writing i would rather write kind of inefficient and dirty code you could say but i'm writing a lot more code to get some work or project done though i do agree with some of the principles here i just don't think this book is as good as people make it to be based off its popularity this does not mean that you shouldn't read this book but i'm just saying don't make this the sole purpose of your entire life in code so honestly if you miss this book then you're not really missing out on a lot but still a good read like I'm, I'm grateful that I bought it and now staying within the same author I read clean architecture this book was a lot better than clean code and as a developer myself I can't lie I never really learned about how software should be architected and if clean code was a book about writing code and how to you know efficiently write code clean architecture is how to maintain and make sure that your code is easily maintainable and updatable in the future and what clean architecture is according to the authors is the specific arrangement of different components throughout an application and how they interact with each other. For example, the components within the software of Netflix 
interact differently than the components in the software within Uber. And based off what I know, the principles that Netflix follows is a microservices architecture where each component is responsible for a function. For example, they have an auth service, they have a recommendation service, they have a display service. And honestly, this was the hardest book to understand. Like I was struggling to even grasp the concepts they were talking about. For example, when talking about like design principles, they brought up concepts like single responsibility principle and open closed principle. And even then this book was not too bad. I still have the same issues like I did with clean code with like just write code. Don't worry too much about the architecture. For most people, that doesn't matter. But I still think understanding how architecture works is really important. If you're a year or two into coding, I think this is a book for you, but don't touch this book if you're a brand new programmer. And the final main book that I just found as a popular book is The Pragmatic Programmer. This book was a lot simpler than the last three of clean code, data structures and algorithms and clean architecture. And what the book lays out is a philosophy of coding and how to approach programming. And the main talking points of the book is that as a programmer, you should take responsibility. You should be clear with your teams. You should look at code from a big picture and not rush into things. You should always be learning as a developer. And not only did they go over the basics of like working with a team and of an approach to programming, but we also covered different aspects of design and code itself. Itself. If you read the other books here, then I would not recommend this book because it's the same thing. But what I would recommend is if you're a brand new programmer, read this book over everything else. The examples in this book was unlike any of the other ones. Like one of the cooler examples was the author compared coding to painting with the main reason being that with painting, you don't want to overdo it. Like if you paint too much over the canvas, it becomes something pretty bad. And in code, you want to do the same thing. Over coding something is just as bad as not coding something at all. They also compared bad code to a broken window where the house just becomes a lot worse if there is a broken window. But yeah, those were all the books that I read. I literally did this within a week and my head is killing me. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It would honestly really go a long way. And if you want a community of like-minded developers, we have a Discord group where we have everything from entrepreneurship talk, we review projects, and we just talk about random stuff. But yeah, I'll leave it here. If there's a book that you recommend, then please leave it in the comments. I'd like to hear your recommendation. Happy coding and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.